On the screen is displayed the electronic board of an air conditioner that utilizes a relay system to control its operation and fan speed. In this case, multiple relays are observed as one must be used to control each speed of the fan motor. Let's begin by stating that a relay is an electromechanical device that, through a low voltage and current signal, energizes a coil. This coil, generating a magnetic field, activates a switch that, upon closing, allows the passage of higher voltage and current to start the desired equipment. Now, the image presents a typical circuit that controls the relay. The basic parts of this circuit are Main controller of the electronic board, the brain that controls all functions. Integrated circuit ULN2003, a chip with seven independent drivers, allowing the control of relays, small DC motors, and stepper motors. Speed control relay to energize a specific fan speed. The explanation of the operation is as follows. A. For example, when the main controller receives the signal from the remote to increase fan speed, the main controller sends a positive pulse to the pin of the ULN2003 integrated circuit. B. Now, when the ULN2003 integrated circuit receives the pulse from the main controller, it activates the ground signal, allowing the current to flow to the relay coil that controls the desired speed. C. When the coil is energized, it generates a magnetic field that activates a switch, allowing the current to pass to the component that controls the speed. What are the possible failures of this relay-controlled speed control circuit in an air conditioner, and how to solve them? A. The output of the main controller signal may fail, which is the least common cause, and practically requires replacing the electronic board. You can check the controller signal voltage with a multimeter in the DC voltage option. Place the positive on the signal, and the negative on the ground. B. ULN2003 circuit failure, in this case, the integrated circuit, can be changed. To diagnose, it is necessary to measure with a multimeter if there is an output pulse on the ULN2003 when activated by the main controller. Look for the ULN2003 output that controls the relay you are interested in. C. Failure in the ULN2003 circuit's output track to the coil. To diagnose, visually inspect the involved track and measure continuity between the corresponding pins. D. The failure may also be in the relay. Perform the following steps. 1. With the board disconnected, measure the continuity of the relay coil. If there is no continuity, the relay must be changed. 2. If the coil is not energized, the switch must be open, and there should be no continuity on the relay's output pins. 3. In case, the above tests do not yield a conclusion, the most recommended way is to energize the relay. To do this, it is advisable to remove it from the control board. 4. If you remove the relay from the board, then energize the coil with a 9 volt square battery. If the relay operates with less voltage, energize it quickly to avoid damage.